How's it going guys, Vapov here and welcome back to another video. Now as you can probably tell, I've got that lockdown look pretty much nailed, but that was one of the first times I actually talked about this OnePlus Z Lite smartphone and now we're here with the OnePlus Nord. This phone is about to be released, a couple of weeks left for this phone to come out to the general public and that's exactly what I want to talk about, its release date and also this new way of unveiling the smartphone which I want to get into as well upcoming in this video. But without further ado, let's actually get into the pre-order page for the OnePlus Nord. So it says it's been a while and the OnePlus Nord is coming back and we're all going back to where it all began. So that's what sort of the marketing material for the OnePlus Nord is and this is the pre-order setup for the smartphone. Now this smartphone is supposed to come out in a certain few markets. I'm going to leave all of those markets on screen right now because I don't have them opened up here but basically there was a limited pre-order on July the 1st a week ago. There's one coming up tomorrow which you can obviously register yourself if you want to get notified and there's another one coming on July the 15th and the one on the 15th is going to be a 24 hour one. These are limited pre-orders. I think they're about a hundred people uh, per pre-order so when I tried getting one on July the 1st it sold out in 12 seconds which I thought was record-breaking but I didn't really expect to get it in the first place because one I was putting a pre-order through through a UK website and I live in Dubai and this phone isn't coming out in Dubai unfortunately so I can't really get my hands on it unless I pre-order it from somewhere else which I am in the process of doing. But this is basically the pre-order page for the phone. Now let's actually take a look at what sort of things we can expect. So the pre-order page once again is highlighted in the Nord series page. If we go down it says the world's first AR smartphone launch. Now this launch is happening through an application. If you want to download that application and be a part of the launch, I'll leave a link to it down in the description and we're going to get into the application as well and take a look at it live. So that's something I want to do in this video as well. So it's coming up in just a bit. But before we get into that, let me just address these eyes are really freaky. So um, I don't know, that's just something I wanted to say. But this video basically unveils a portion of the OnePlus Nord which I really wanted to highlight in this video. I'm not going to watch the entire one, you can go ahead and check out this website if you want to see the entire video. But it basically goes through OnePlus's origins, OnePlus's roots, how they've been influenced, what sort of people use OnePlus devices and they want to basically appeal to those kind of people with the OnePlus Nord series as well. So that's basically what this phone is aimed towards or this brand and if we pause right here there was the actual oneplus device so i'm gonna uh, try and pause at the right time but it doesn't seem to want to pause at the right time there it is so that's the front facing uh portion of the smartphone as you can see because they're using the camera you can't really tell what portion is the entire display and you can't really make out that front facing cutout which is going to be a dual camera setup and we'll get to that in just a bit but if we pause and have a look at okay that was not intended but let me just play it from here and you guys can sort of understand what i'm alluding at with the design of the smartphone so i'm gonna pause pause again pause again They've made it intentionally really difficult to actually see the smartphone but basically it's got a quad camera setup at the back and it's got this teal color that they're teasing in pretty much every single social media platform they have. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we got a glimpse of the phone. I think this was a couple of days ago and you guys can play around with pausing and playing or find the image of it online. But basically the camera is actually at the back on the side. It's a quad camera setup and it's going to be a pill shape just like how we see it on the OnePlus 7 and 7T series. But let's get into the camera specifications now. This is from a person called Utsav Teki and he's got a tech channel of his own. If you want to go ahead you can go and subscribe to him. I think he makes some great content. He's based in India so definitely go show him some love if you already know him. You pretty much know him because if you're on my channel um, and this guy's got like 500k subscribers so you probably know him but he's basically gone ahead and told us the specifications of the camera so we've got a 48 megapixel optical image stabilized uh, primary camera alongside an 8 megapixel ultra wide presumably a 5 megapixel telephoto or a macro we're not sure and a 2 megapixel depth sensor that's the first tweet the second tweet actually outlines the front facing camera which is a 32 megapixel plus an 8 megapixel setup now I think the front facing camera setup is borrowed completely from the Realme 6 Pro 
uh, as far as the second camera goes in terms of it bringing you an ultra wide angle field of view whereas the primary camera I think is borrowed from either the OnePlus 7 or the OnePlus 8 series we're not sure which sort of 48 megapixel camera this is going to be but OnePlus is marketing the optical image stabilization very heavily over on their social channels if you look at their Instagram for example they're really marketing it to be a smartphone that you know focuses heavily on content creation can do 4k 60 fps video I presume etc etc but these are the specifications of the camera and he also outlines the OnePlus Nord app where the smartphone is going to be unveiled in augmented reality so I've alluded to this kind of launch in the past because with the whole situation and the virus going on people can't really do conventional launches and the closest thing they can do to conventional launches is augmented reality launches and that's where OnePlus has capitalized being the first ever uh, AR launch out there so I've actually got the application installed on my smartphone and I'm gonna put up the screen um, on the side so you can see what's going on as well but as I click it it says be a part of this AR launch event and it basically tempts you to make your own avatar or make not make your own avatar and be boring so this already shows what OnePlus is doing when it comes to marketing and it's a great strategy now it's also got a clicking sort of um, page for if you have an invitation code I'm really not that cool enough to have an invitation code, but if you have an invitation code, you can go ahead and enter that and maybe there's a different experience in store for you. But I'm going to go ahead and create my own avatar and see what this thing is all about. So this is basically making an emoji or a memoji of yourself and um, you can customize pretty much everything. So what I'm going to do is actually put on a hat. Um, accessories, what I'm going to do is go for sunglasses. Facial hair, uh, beard medium, I think that sort of aligns with uh, my beard. Facial hair color, I'd say it's black or brown. I'd say it's black, yeah, black. Fabric color, I think that is the shirt. So it only gives you options for blue, gray. I think these colors are also intended to be one plus colors at the end of the day, so it doesn't give you all sorts of shades. But I'm gonna go with this teal slash cyan uh, version, something like the one plus eight pro right here and we're gonna go with brown eyes or oh no this is the expression so i'm just gonna leave it default eyebrow default mouth um <laughs> why not go for a scream mouth yeah scream open and skin well i think i'm fair not that tan i'm not that tan for sure i'd say brown brown is a good representation of my skin so i think that pretty much is a good representation of the avatar that i would like to rock uh, the the cap or the hat is a bit questionable but i'm gonna go with it i'm gonna say it looks good and see what happens because this is really interesting and if this thing points to my table now um i don't think it'll be the best experience okay so for the best experience get comfortable your device has to be fully charged headphones on volume up and the Wi-Fi is connected. So this is the augmented reality section of the application. And basically it's tempting me to move in a certain manner. So, okay, what is happening? Can I click? Can I do something? I'm on this flat surface. I'm trying to see or to Try and understand how this thing works. There's apps. Okay, there we go. We've got the OnePlus logo right here on the table. And we've got the live view. So it basically says in 14 days, it's going to be live. And I presume what this is going to be, it's going to be an augmented reality experience. So if I actually go ahead and turn my smartphone all the way to match this, you can pretty much see the entirety of the event in augmented reality now my table isn't the best and i have to rotate this uh, smartphone to match up but maybe you can go ahead and reset this when the time comes and i think that's what i'm going to do but i just wanted to show you guys what this augmented reality setup is all about this is basically what we're looking at and it's basically a way for consumers to get really hyped about this launch and for us to look forward to it. So I don't know what you think about this augmented reality launch. I know OnePlus did a 
uh, unique launch with their OnePlus 2 series, I think it was, when they launched it in VR. And I happened to be one of the first persons to be hyped about that event. I actually got a Google Cardboard setup just for that event. So this is completely new once again. And given OnePlus's fashion and track record, I think they're trying to do something similar with the Nord brand and hype it up. Now, in all honesty, I'm really hopeful if um, OnePlus does well with this Nord brand because to me, it seems almost like a rebrand of the Oppo Reno 4 slash 4 Pro slash the Realme 6 Pro because if we look at uh, one of the conversations I've had here, um, seems heavily borrowed from the Oppo Reno 4 and Utsav Techie goes ahead and says Oppo, OnePlus are all part of the same parent brand, which makes uh, complete sense. And he, uh, pra Prakar Khanna, he works at Pocket now, I think. And he also goes on to say that I just hope they deliver because I think the marketing of this OnePlus Nord smartphone has been over the roof. It's worked, but now if they don't actually live up to the hype, the specifications and to the demands of the consumers, it can heavily backfire. But I hope that's not the case. We'll learn more as the time comes. July 21st is the date to look out for. If there's any more info, I'll probably make a separate video covering that or maybe update the description with whatever else I know. But yeah, $500 or sub $500 smartphone not coming to the USA not coming to Dubai, is coming to India, is coming to the European market. Something to look out for is something unique and it's probably gonna be half borrowed from the Oppo Reno 4 slash 4 Pro. If you wanna know more about the specifications, do check out the other videos I've made on the Oppo or the OnePlus Nord. And yeah, thanks for watching. This was Vabhav and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.